Hey everybody, it's Dad the Red, and welcome back to Shining Song Star Nova. Then last we left off, well, you've been summoned to the Soma Music Building after, you know, Julie decided to flash the audience at our, one of our lives. Yay. Also, I'm going to apologize in advance if the video decides to start doing the stupid popping, buzzing, hissing bullshit. I've done a, a few test recordings now, and it's... It, 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 there's no, like, reliable way to tell if it's going to do it or not. Because in one test recording, it did it. Another one, where I basically just spent a minute ranting about how pissed I was that it was doing that. That test recording came back with nothing. Perfect audio the whole way through. So, I don't know. I don't know what's causing it. I don't know. I, I, I said it before. I, I just... Anyway, the next day we found ourselves in front of the Soma Music Building. Listen, the two of us are going to go in there, apologize, promise to never do a thing like this again, and beg for another chance. Alright? Uh-huh. In the end, that was the only thing we could do. We were just a tiny talent company, while Soma was a multinational corporation with tens of billions of yen. I can only pray that our patron god was in a good mood on this day. The two of us entered an office and the president of some music is waiting for us. Oh, goody goody gumdrops. Thank you very much for having us here today. It is my profoundest of apologies that such an unfortunate incident has occurred. Sincerely, I swear it shall never occur, uh, ha again occur and come to you to beg on my knees for your understanding. I bowed to the floor and did my best to shove Julie's nose into the floor as well. I like they just gave her the normal pose where she's like leaning forward and just closed her eyes. Ah, uh, wait, wait. What are you doing, Princess on? Sir? Get up. Y you must be misunderstanding something. But I thought, ah, you must think. No, I'm not angry at you at all in regarding the underwear incident of yours. In fact, I brought you here to congratulate you. Ever since that incredible story hit the papers, some of the CD sales have gone from the roof. Ah, I can't believe you pulled off such a PR victory. Ha ha ha. Julie, did you hear that? That ass of yours may actually, uh, be about to pay. <laughs> Sales have gone up by an incredible margin. Look at you. Yeah, the people know quality when they see it. Yes, that they, they, they have gazed upon glory and been struck with the horny bat. Like they said, there's no such thing as bad PR in this business. Usually we have to pay the press for photographs like that, but as of now, they're practically doing our job for us. Ah, I knew you're the right man for the job, but this is on exactly why we decided to work with you. <laughs> is that so? Uh, uh, that's why I brought you here to inform you of your next task. The story's run over a big chance. Now, all you need is a proper follow-through and you'll be ruining this business. Well, at least under some easy, of course. I've already told my man Suzuki san to prepare the, sh uh, the shoot of the PV for your girls. And of course, we'll be pre preparing the song as well. This time, you can get your uh, girls to perform the follow through, can't you? You've already pulled off this incredible feat, so it won't be a problem for you at all, won't it? Follow through? You know, a PV along the same lines as that incident. Ah, I see. What? And not only that, tie in lives and bathing suits as well. It's the swimsuit lives. In the middle of winter. Oh, they'll be perky, I'll give it that. Yeah, it'd be quite a thing to see, wouldn't it? Oh, that'd be something to see, alright. Anyways, I'm confident you can pull it off. P pull off, pull off. There'd be a lot of pulling off happening as well. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah. But I have faith in you, my son. Don't, don't call me your son, but thanks. Uh, of course, I'll let you down, Dad. I mean,. I'm sorry, it, it triggered something very deep inside me. Then, Sarnova, Banzai! Banzai. Yeah. Ha 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 Julie grinned beside me as he walked out of the summer building. <laughs> oh, look at you, high and mighty and happy now that people have actually been, like, praising your ass. Literally. Kissing your ass one might now what what the fuck drop it See you're just worrying for no reason. Oh, no, I was not 
All right, all right. Let's take you in this time. But through a stroke of luck. Kurzweil, oh my god, you should have seen the look on your face when you entered that office. P please, Mr. Big Daddy Boss Man, don't hurt me. I'm just a baby producer who doesn't know anything, a woo. Any surveillance cameras nearby I could just push you into traffic. <sighs> Despite Julie's teasing, I was too high from not only having been absolved from starting over as the first major scandal, but was also praised as the head of one of the nation's greatest record labels to uh, particularly care about her words. And that's how this industry worked all along, huh? <sighs> in the end, it was all about drawing in the eyeballs. Anyone care about idols because they make good music? I sure as hell didn't fancy myself a producer of the world's next Beethoven, after all. And between just you and me, it's not like you're the girls that are over that great at singing. Wow! Auto-Tune was truly one of the greatest innovations of digital age. No, it was all about two things. The two things which brought the guarantee the male gaze since antiquity. Men have bled, men have sobbed, wailed of the heavens, gone to war, lied, cheated, killed for those two things. Yes. Truly the greatest treasures a man could hold in his grasp. Huh. Huh. <laughs> <clears throat> well, there you have it then. Looks like we're gonna have to go all into the fan service from now. Well, that doesn't mean we're gonna go command on our lives, and of course we're sticking to the official story regarding the photograph. Still, I'm pretty optimistic that the fans will respond positively to seeing more of you. Uh, physically, I mean. Well, I'm glad to hear that you acknowledge my looks at least. Julie ran ahead of me and spun to face me, the sunlight glinting the strands of her hair. Ugh. <sighs> The words, they did, uh, words certainly held weight. She did have quite an impressive figure and just the right amount of Japanese kawaii and American fatale. The best of Hollywood and Harajuku. Stri uh, speaking strictly as a producer, of course. Hey, wasn't like I liked or anything. Oh, Kaoru-chan's getting all Sunday now too. It's rubbing off on you. All she did was get on my nerves, make fun of me, ignore my directions, and... Wait. Why was I so designed to Sunday here? Hey, look, you caught on. Cute. You could say it's one of my pride points. Well, I can't complain. So I never need to have a tent pole, and visually the best I've got. Besides my tent pole, you know, we'll just ignore that one. Tent poles, huh? Huh, you're always like this. Pretty much. Boy, what, what was that you to pull that crazy stuff anyways? No matter how you look at it, dancing in front of over 1,000 guys, no panties, almost nuts. Well, maybe the excitement got on my head a little. Of what? Exposing yourself? Was that what, what you off? Ex exhibitionism? Sorry, I don't think you'd ever understand what it's like to be on a big, shining stage. Everyone's going crazy for you. Kato-chan just sniff. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Just think about those guys shedding my name turns me on, you know? Wow, okay. It's like a shot in the arm. So I can't go help but go a little crazy time to time. I don't know, it's like everyone wants to make I me mean, to make them happy, so I can't help but want to dial things up a notch so I live with the expectations. Call me a top bitch all you want. I still don't want to let my fans down. And then you go backstage and 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 talk down about them? Uh th th throw shade and all that? Ju Julie, I don't think you quite understand what you're saying, girl. Oi. I can't even getting too horny to dance around our lives, you know. Honey. Eh? That's your first thought? I will splash you with a bucket of cold water if I have to. Uh, idiot. Can't believe you. What, were you hoping I get jealous? Hey, producer, you're not one of those blockhead type protagonists you can't pick up at a goddamn hint, are you? Why, well, yes. How could you tell? I, I thought you never noticed, Julie. If I am, I'd be too thick I didn't know. <coughs> Funny. Guys, they're the fucking worst. Typical Japanese or before man. S uh, eh. You know, they say foreign women are too demanding and self-centered for Japanese men. Still, I think that may be a European appeal point. Wow, little girl, it doesn't play with the rules. That really hurts supposed to be her, her persona. In this world, archetypes are needed to give a sense of familiar comfort to the consumers. If we can't make Julie Watanabe into a bite-sized statement that can be disseminated in a 120-character-long uh, chirp, then I don't think the people would care that much about her. Uh, I don't get a word you're saying. You're a boring guy, you know that? 
Really? Well, you could say stable and reliable, my charm points. You're always like this. It's just like when you're at the beach at night. All you care about is making your idol team that you can't see the obvious right in front of you. Listen up, producer. What a girl says, I already know. I face joy with a serious expression. Eh, eh, th th then why didn't you... I've known all this time. Uh, Oi, th 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 does this mean you're... I'm the center of a major idol unit, and I'm your producer. Oi, oi, get your head on straight. There's no way we can go out. <laughs> Toying my feelings like that. Get rid of the worst. <laughs> well, I wouldn't want to be labeled an herbivore. Th that doesn't stop anyone, you know. I'm pretty sure every major, uh, pretty much every uh, uh, idol sleeps around with uh, execs in this day and age. Come on, open up your eyes. It's still wildly unprofessional, and uh, more than that, more morally... Um, reprehensible. Some say dubious. I'm like, that's not the right word. Uh, because that implies that there's some kind of gray area. But, uh, I mean, if it's consensual, cool, whatever. But, uh, generally, it tends to be more of the predatory nature. And, uh, yeah, no. I wish you're going. Everyone else should, uh, should be back at the office waiting to see what happened. Hey, producer. With that, I held a passing cab. Let's get going. Once the cab stopped at the curb, I opened the door for Julie. The ladies first. Ah, seriously. But then at the two of us turned to the office, our Nova's first scandal already behind us. But yet more on the way! Ellipses, fuck off! The six of the members of the team collectively sighed in relief I told them what had happened. Thank goodness some music isn't angry at us. I guess the time don't need to don her a hard hat again after all. I just finished smoothing over the situation with my mother as well. <sighs> as expected of Black Knight Sorcery. Nah, I figured as much. In the end, it's just a blurry photograph of Julie's butt. Not like the anything people haven't seen before. <laughs> and technically, technically speaking, not like something they haven't seen in higher resolution already. Maybe not all of it. Yet. Maybe. I don't know. Besides, scandals in the form of marketing, you know. A lot of time producers force girls to get into opportune, opportune scandals the right moment to generate buzz. <laughs> long as the boobs and butts are flowing free to the people, one can commit no sins in the industry. <laughs> really troubling hearing that from you. I mean, it, it makes sense to hear from you, but it, it, it's the whole visual thing on top of your backstory that just... <sighs> She's really in her shit lonely mode today, ain't she? Yep. She really is, huh? My, it would certainly be a shocker if fans were to see it like this. You could say it would be quite a scandalous sunrise. Kara Chan's there holding his phone up already, just like, huh? Oh, yeah, I mean, uh, just tucks her back in his pocket. Yeah, it, it, it would totally be inappropriate. Shut up. You've really been growing horns like the haven't you, Lamb of Star Nova. Heh, <laughs> Shimazaki Sami will do her best. Heart. Hey, hold on a minute. Just because we don't just bullet doesn't mean it's blue skies ahead. True. What do you mean by we'll all be in a PV to capitalize on the current buzz? <laughs> you caught on quick, didn't you? I'm sorry. Oh, that. That. So, um, get this, right? Okay, pictures, everyone. Just think about this for a second, right? Here's the thing. Some music thinks it'll be a Good idea to really build up some of his brand around Julie's image. Specifically the image in the paper. Uh, since, you know, people are buying out our live tickets in droves thanks to the rumors about her performing with no panties on. Rumors. <laughs> it's only natural that our next song will be pretty racy like that. We seem to have tapped into quite a lucrative market. Uh, so in the end, it's all about stripping us down, huh? Just sort of thing I'd expect from working for a big record label. Get the program on, Asama. I sure as fuck didn't sign on to become an idol expecting to do classic ballet. No, of course not. You have to have talent to perform ballet. And okay, that's... God, I'm talking about throwing shit away and here I am being a fucking asshole. Trash, identical music made simple for even those of limited talent to sing. Flashy dance moves, wheeling outfits, and of course, the false impression that you too can meet the idol of your dreams and maybe start something big. That's what the modern musical scene is all about. <laughs> a portion of it, yes, and I'll admit even a big one, but not all of it, no. 
this world has surely become a grim place. Only if you choose to look at the grim part of it. Oh, only, I mean. Only choose to look at the... Or did I say... Never mind. Oh, hey, Maria, loosen up the back ears. Idols carry the hopes and dreams of people, you know. Hopes and dreams. Right on their chests. You know, Aki doesn't carry much. Julie, a little more. You and Nemu definitely carry a lot of them. Of course, I'm not asking you to do anything R18. We're still per idols. It'll just be a playfully risque PV with an upbeat song about how much more comfortable it is with less down there. Or something. We're still in the works. We literally just came back from the thing, okay? G give me a break. Oh, and on top of that, phrasing. I'll be performing uniform checks for all of your lives just to make sure we don't suffer any more wardrobe malfunctions from now on. Julie, what that means is I'll be lifting your skirt before the next... Yeah, it sounds about as bad as I thought it would have when I said it out loud. That's kind of what I was going for. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Natan saw that pretty quick, too. Being able to send our skits for all our lives, huh? What a smooth operator, that Picoon. Shut up. I'll just be checking to make sure the safety spats are on as required. Oh, but on the other hand, you can have Kadama check if you're uncomfortable with the idea of having me look. <laughs> I'll be performing the safety checks on Kadama. <laughs> nuh uh. I think we're fine with you. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> I think I can trust who's sent out to do anything perverted. Yeah. He really is quite a studious man, no? The faith is appreciated, I suppose. Hmm. Surely Black Knight's intentions are with us are honorable. Well, I really don't mind. S surprising. Ah, uh, whatever. Oh, but on that note, we might have to perform our next live in swimsuits. There it is. <laughs> well, it's not really anything we haven't done before. Just what kind of idol group are we becoming? Not, a, not, 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 not one we can be proud of. <clears throat> Is this really going to be alright? Well, I guess that kind of fan service needed from time to time. <laughs> Afraid the fans might not like what's under your clothes on, Asama? Eh, Shut it. You might have a pretty face, but you're still pretty much built like a stick. <laughs> not as much as I can. Curves are the most uh, beautiful form in this world. Curves. I think it's the taste, really. I'm not arguing with you. I'm just saying it depends on one's personal preferences. Indeed. Bound is truly the apple of one's eye, now. You look a little desperate there to get that point across. Some people say flat is justice, you know? Just gonna leave it at that. Again, preferences. <laughs> I'm going with the curve I need down here. I mean, you're not... You've got... I'm not even gonna go there. Now, now, ladies. I need to fight. I'm sure everyone will look great in the swimsuits. The only news I have from the meeting with Soma. Now, you guys have work to do, right? Come on. The drama's been resolved. Let's go back to work. Yeah, I know. Ellipses. Oh, fuck off. Right. Okay. And on that note, I'm going to be into the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. And hopefully the audio didn't decide to bork over or I'm going to have to go kick a wall and break my toes.